Hey everybody, this is Mark from Mark All My Words, and today I'm going to be covering six ways that trees improve our lives. I'm going to keep this as short and sweet as possible, so let's get straight to it. So the first thing you need to know about trees is they produce oxygen. That's the stuff that you and I breathe. So it's really important. Now, this comes about as a result of photosynthesis. Sounds intimidating, but it's just the way that trees make food. They do this very simply. They take water, air, and sunlight. They put them all together. They produce a simple sugar which they consume. After they're done, they release extra oxygen into the air. And that's where a huge portion of the oxygen that we breathe comes from. So the second really important thing that trees do is sequester carbon. Carbon is a greenhouse gas, and if you didn't know, greenhouse gases act like a blanket over our planet, progressively increasing temperatures over time. So these are things that we generally want to keep out of the atmosphere, especially the way things are going. Now, the way trees do this is by the process of photosynthesis, which I already mentioned. In the process of photosynthesis, they take carbon, carbon from carbon dioxide, and they put it into glucose. As a result, that carbon is no longer in the air, which means it's no longer acting like a blanket over our planet. The third really important thing that trees do is prevent erosion. Erosion is simply the process of soil being washed or blown away. Most people don't realize it, but topsoil is really, really important. It is the stuff of life itself. Every plant, every tree on the face of our planet depends on topsoil in order to derive nutrients and survive. So if you don't have topsoil, you don't have life. In fact, a really good example of this is the Gobi Desert in China, which right now is actually increasing in size as a result of the loss of topsoil. Now trees can actually stop this process as a result of catching water in their leaves and branches, which keeps it from washing soil away, and holding it in their roots. So in other words, trees are really, really good for soil, which is really, really good for all of us. The fourth thing trees do that's really important is they provide food and shelter for humans and for wildlife. Now, I can't go through all the species that benefit from this, but I'm gonna single out three. These are number one, the American beaver, which eats the wood and bark of a number of different species, including maple, willow, and oak. The second one is the great horned owl. The great horned owl primarily eats rodents, although it does eat other things too. And these primarily eat vegetation. And the third thing is the snowshoe hare. The snowshoe hare eats the saplings of especially birch, willow, and alder. Now, humans also benefit from trees there are a whole host of products you can look them up. I actually have them on my website if you want to look them up in detail. But they include, among many things, wood, rubber, latex, gum, syrup, and even chocolate. Okay? So if you like chocolate, you have a reason to love trees. Now the fifth thing trees do that's really important is they support the water cycle. As I'm sure you know by now, there are many regions of the world that are experiencing chronic water shortages. California, South Africa, the Middle East. This is just an illustration of the fact that keeping water is really important and trees will help. They do this by producing organic matter which forms soil. Leaves, branches, bark, and then of course trees themselves when they die. All of this acts like a sponge which holds the water and keeps it from being lost. The other thing trees do that's really crazy and amazing is they release not only water vapor into the air, but also trace minerals, including potassium. Once trees release potassium into the air, it acts like an atmospheric glue, which grabs water vapor and helps to produce clouds. Clouds, when they get heavy enough, produce rain, and rain, of course, supports the watershed, which also helps trees, wildlife, and humanity. The sixth thing trees do that's really important is they absorb air pollutants. Now, if you live in a metropolitan area and you've got lots and lots of pollution from cars and trucks and factories and any other industrial activity, you know this is really important. It can cause asthma, it can cause acute respiratory syndromes, and in some cases it can even cause death. So there are a huge number of people every year who die as a result of air pollution. but 
trees in the process of transpiration, which is essentially breathing, will take in air pollutants, things like sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, ozone, particulate matter, and they will deposit it in their tissue. This means it's no longer in the air and it's no longer posing a threat. In the United States alone, get this, 17.4 million tons of air pollutants are trapped by trees. This saves over $6 billion and 850 lives. Now, if nothing else is important to you, this should be. 850 human lives every year, and that is a conservative estimate, okay? Most of science is incredibly conservative. The number is probably far in excess, and this is just in the United States alone. 850 human lives, which could include your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, even a child, okay? These are lives that are saved as the result of trees. Now, the very least we can do as human beings and decent conscientious citizens is return the favor. That means we need to oppose industries that are actively contributing to deforestation, whether that's mining, whether that's logging, whether that's anything else that involves the destruction of trees and forests. That is the least we can do, and that is how we can look out for ourselves in the long run.